Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to The Money Away. And today in this video, we're going to be going over my top five stocks that I think are going to dominate the next couple years in this new technological era. So first on the list, we have Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF. So if you guys don't know what an ETF is, most of you guys probably do. But it is, rather than buying um, one share of one company, let's say if you look up Apple stock, then you are just buying a share for that one company. An ETF is an arrangement of different companies. And so what uh, these companies in this ETF are basically for are any companies that affiliate themselves with robotics and artificial intelligence. So why I think this is going to dominate the future? Well, we are starting to move into a new era where people are starting to do less and less by themselves. We have ro we have mirror robots that talk to you. We have toilets that talk to you. We have cars, all that that drive by themselves. Now, what drives this? Robotics and artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is basically... Um, if you guys don't know, it's uh, it's affiliated with um, machine learning, and so let's say you give a robot a picture, right? It it of like a normal standard. So let's say uh, you have a you're programming a car, and you want it to learn what um, is basically the right place on the road. So you give it a picture of the middle of the road, and that's the place that it should stay. And artificial intelligence. And also the robotic gears and all that parts of the, of the car will begin to pos uh, position themselves depending on their if they're on the right of the middle or on the left, and they'll turn and try to arrange themselves in the middle. So what this has to do with cars? Well, cars do the exact same thing. They stick to the lanes, and according to your GPS, they turn and they'll they'll go to a specific destination that you mark. And so this ETF is controlling all the companies that are doing are providing the exact parts that are going to help these cars and help these manufacturers grow as people need more uh, cars they need more artificial intelligence as we begin to move to the, to that new era this stock is going to blow up and if you look at the 5 year chart it's had its ups and downs but if you zoom into the 1 year it's been at progressive growth of course it had the corona but it's been a, a very fast um recover and it's even grown to even higher uh, prices than it was before. So next on the list, kind of the same thing. I'm pretty sure this is by the same company, but robotics and automation ETF. So automation is basically anything that does it that does its uh, specific actions by itself without you um, uh, without you controlling it or without you putting in basically any inputs. So automation, why I think it's going to be the best. Well, cars, same thing, you know, they drive themselves. You have systems in your home that work by themselves, right? You have like, uh, I've seen houses that have their own fire alarms that work by themselves, continuously monitoring uh, carbon, carbon monoxide detectors. They continuously monitor by themselves and by themselves if they detect higher um, levels of carbon monoxide, then they would then report, uh, report to the authorities and have someone come and basically help you in this time of need because carbon monoxide is obviously you guys know very poisonous uh, not only that you we have uh, robots that uh, mining robots that can mine by themselves and if they find ore then they report it and they mine it we have a whole bunch of different machines that are beginning to work by themselves and uh, that's gonna help us um, cuz you guys know time is money right but if you have something working for you you, you basically have to put only the time to manufacture it, which is basically the era that we're going into. We're beginning to have robots do all our jobs for us. Now, unfortunately, um, in the, you know, the job world, that's going to take some of our jobs. But there's going to be the programmers. There's going to be all that. And, of course, there's us investors that are looking to invest into this new future and this new ETF. Well, if you look at the five-year chart, it's... Um, since the five uh, five years, it's gone grown sixty four percent. Now that's pretty good for the past five years. I'm guessing if you look at the spy, it's gonna be about the same. But in the in the next couple of years, this is really where people are beginning to transition into this new phase. No, nothing like before. We've seen nothing about like uh, self driving cars before. Tesla is beginning to uh, help everyone move into this new era. So next on the list, 
iShares Global Clean Energy. So why I think this is going to be a good stock for the future? Well, as we can see with electric driving cars, we've seen with uh, new wind farms being created, uh, people are starting to move slowly but surely away from fossil fuels. Now, it may take a long time, but where do people go when they move away from fossil fuels? Well, obviously, they go to clean energy. We have hydroelectric, we have thermal electric, we have wind farms, we have um, geothermal, we have, um, let's see, uh, oh, oh, solar, right? Electric uh, cars, some of them are beginning to uh, be recharged by solar panels that are positioned on the car. Now, of course, where do they buy them from? Well, they buy them from the companies on this list that provide the clean energy, right? The solar panel uh, manufacturers, the wind farm manufacturers, all that. And even dams, if you guys didn't know, they produce hydroelectric uh, energy, which is clean energy. It's basically no pollutants, no emissions. And uh, manufacturers of hydroelectric dams are featured on this ETF. So I think this is going to blow up. Now, it hasn't seen that much of an increase in the past five years. But it's uh, since its low points in the past a year, maybe a year and a half, it's seen a very high gains, especially right here around no November 22. It saw a $4 increase in just a couple months. I mean, what is this, four months? That's crazy, guys. That's a 40% increase in just four months. So next on the list, this is personally my favorite because this is a 3x ETF, so you're going to maximize your... Um, your leverage exposure you're going to get the max amount of gains now you look at the five-year chart guys it started this year 35 20 233 right now of course it saw a major decrease because corona you know it's a 3x leverage stock so of course the risks and also the gains are going to be three times the movement of the regular etf so what it was before this is this stock is still at an insane stale you're going to get about um a 50% increase because right now it's at 233 before it was 326 you're gonna see about a hundred dollar increase if you buy uh, shares fully I put a lot of money into this because I can see in the future you guys have to look into the future we're not short-term investors we're looking into the future you can already see this stock is beginning to blow up just look at the yearly chart we're up 30 percent and we're not even at the top. Before it was up 98% in just one year. This is a grower. This is personally my favorite. And I can see it going way above a thousand, way above two thousand. But remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion. And next on the list, this stock has done glory for me. I do not know why I didn't buy any more shares. I'm kind of dumb, guys, but 116% in just a couple, and I think it was just like a month ago where I bought this. I basically predicted this because hydro, um, wait, what was this? Hydrogen gas fuel cells, all right? This is the new wave. We have, we have um, companies like uh, Helion. We have companies like, uh, I did a video today, like Workhorse, and uh, that are beginning to move into these fuel cells and this hydrogen gas and this electric cars, this new wave of basically clean energy and this company is looking to be the have you guys looked in the news it's looking to be the the best provider for this hydrogen gas and these fuel cells so as you can see in the past month it has basically doubled in value guys three three hundred and seventy one thousand people on robin hood the dumbest of the dumb the dumbest community you can possibly choose have this stock it's gained just 11 percent just today guys you guys have to look at these stocks you have to take your maximum amount of attention and put it towards these stocks your maximum amount of money but of course you want to be diversified but this is the the industry that i'm putting the most of my money into i can see it exploding guys you have to look into the future have a great day and if you guys believe that i deserved it please like subscribe and comment down below what stocks you're looking at and what do you think. Thank you.